Aubusson. 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 This is where we are. Famous Ta town where Roy was born. <laughs> was it Ray? Anyway, they make tapestries here. Well, they're famous for making tapestries. This is the French capital of tapestry manufacture, as we have up here. <laughs> in perspective we're just crossing the river now which is quite a big river if you have a look at this look keen eyes would have seen as a couple of traps there for canoeists so they do a bit of white water rafting canoeing through there but that's the sort of upper end of town a bit more commercial and then as we come down this side which is where we're going uh, this is all the sort of historic parts with lots of little um, lanes and yeah, we noticed lots of little lanes and roads. It was you know tiny, tiny widths. I can't wait to go up there. We can't with brocants and cafes and all sorts. So let's go and have a look, see what we can find. See, with a lot of these French towns, they had some injection of money in the 70s. These shop fronts here, even though they're past what they were originally intended for incredibly 70s and then this here look Yves Passant that shop looks like it was straight out of the 70s and it hasn't changed at all got a little merchandising unit in the middle there this one's got one just here little uh, outdoor merchandising unit and lots of glass that must have been revolutionary at the time That's so 70s so we're heading to the old looks like a an iron or steel construction building which is now a brocante so oh yes Anna's just seen there's something in the stone above long since disappeared Service. Who is it? Really? Nothing. Oh, look at oh, there's loads of it. What about this one? This is a different set, isn't it? Two hundred. Nothing. Nothing. Is that is that the mark though, or is that the artist? The artist, isn't it? Nothing. Worth nothing. Must be. Worth nothing. Do, 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 do. Yes. They're very trusting here, aren't they? Considering there's nobody here. I quite like that. Oh, it's a frame. It's not. Is it a mirror? It's a mirror. Oh, it is a mirror. Okay, nothing for us then, is there? No. I'm afraid. Okay, let's go on to the next place. This isn't a book card, is it? It's an antique shop. Yes, full retail pricing. I like this desk. I like the legs on it. Have a look inside, look. It's pretty, isn't it? But there's one problem. It's 220 euros. It's they're not selling much because, do you know why they're not selling much? Go on. Look. Ah, uh, unlucky. It should be the other way yeah, up. The past is, it's leaking all its look. Nice, these are draw dovetails, that joint is called. But uh, as you would expect, all wood. Oh well. Let's go. It's very delicate. 
Who yeah. makes that lamp, sweetheart? Yeah. Who what? That lamp. What about it? Do you like it? Oh, that's no, nice, isn't it? No, it's all squashed Oh, is it no good? That's nice, isn't it? Isn't it that nice, that chandelier? We've come across the road, so I imagine this is the same owner as the one over the road. Sick place. That's nice, that isn't it? Yeah, what's that one? Yeah, I've not seen that one. No. Bonjour, madame, ça va? Du soleil, du soleil. Ah, ouais, ouais. Il fait froid aujourd'hui, ouais? Ouais. Le soleil, et après, euh, c'était ouais. bien. Vous avez beaucoup de touristes ici Oui, il Dans l'été, oui. Ça commence en mai, c'est fin septembre. Ah, ouais. D'accord. Vous avez beaucoup de patrons. Vous voulez voir la cité, non Non, non. non. non c'est la première fois ici, aujourd'hui. Il faut aller voir la cité de la tapisserie. C'est joli oh. ouais. Même M. Macron, notre président, il s'y plaît. Ah. <rire> il est venu deux fois là-bas. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty too, isn't it? It's gone. 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 Having some work done, but look at the age of that building. So what a lot to take in on this little square here. I don't even think it's a square, it's like a where the roads meet. But look into the distance, you've got this tower just here. Clock tower even. And then coming down to this level, you've got the really old fountain. 17, 1718, and look, it's still throwing water out. And then we come around, we've got this beautiful cafe here. And then the sort of streets wind up and disappear. And if we cross the road, we'll show you this other street we saw. Very much the same. Just look down here, look. Just look at the history of that. There's another one there, look at that one. That one looks even more inviting. Yeah, we'll go and have a look at that, shall we? <laughs> Breaking my own rules by not looking up. Look at the age of this here with the penetrating stair cores just going up there look isn't that beautiful sorry here not over there it's my camera's pointing in a slightly different direction let's cross the road and have a look at the side street oh, I wonder what that was looks like it's acting as a but buttress now keeping that house up look <laughs> Number 17. Look at the big steps. Crazy, isn't it? Look at that. That's only 10 people to go in there. <laughs> You'd be alright. <laughs> Just see, look, where the different floor levels landed originally. Look, you can see the doors. Can you imagine in the UK? having a building that dates back to the 14 or 1500s and then having a builder come along and then is allowed just to put up concrete block straight up they'll against it. Yeah, I'm just saying that yeah. the principle of of just being able to do what you like with an old building. Look at this old door here, it's fabulous. So there was a little house, we reckon, squeezed on this corner plot just here. And if you look in the distance, I don't know if you can see it, 1763, which is across the top of that door capping, wherever that was. And if you look over there, look, see the top of the fireplace, the arch. Oh yeah, that's yeah. the ground floor. You can just yeah. see a pillar just here. And then Anna's right, there's the mantle coming off. Wow. So this would have been a little so house. All this under here is all the bubbles from this house. Basically. Yes, yes, you're right. That would have been the ground floor. How wonderful. And these people are relieved because the house is gone. It's given them some light. A 
Look at this building, it's been messed about with a lot on the ground floor. But you just can tell of its age. That would have been the entrance to a grand house. And then going up, you can see where it's less interfered with. So imagine this is your width of your house here, having all those balconies. It's apartments now by the look of it, but at least it's still being used. <laughs> I had a bit of a trip off camera then. Well, on camera, but... <laughs> Behind the camera. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Hey, look at this signage here. So this is a brasserie. Francaise. What's the last? Look there, these are... Oh, right, nothing to see, just an elevated garden, isn't it? And a lavoir. This is where they would have washed their clothes. Yeah. Very common. Little building for the goats, chickens. Well, perhaps it's the dunny. Could have been the dunny. <laughs> It's got me, it's got me. <laughs> Unfortunately, guys, we couldn't share that one with you. We don't normally do this in town in the middle of the day, do we? Normally... <laughs> Make it sound like we go out every night. Going into empty houses. <laughs> we normally wait till it's it's either very wet or it's uh, Look, that was a bar. Look, that weekend. Was yes. And I've spied a bar up here. Go and have a look. And that's what you can do if you uh, want to take care. But it's an office building, isn't it, oh, on the ground that, floor? Like a horse's head. Can you oh, see yes. it? yes. Just here, she's saying. Just there, look. I like the lights, too. Yeah. The lights are nice. So with this number of chairs outside, I bet they're busy at the weekend. Look at this, it's a little like, public that? auditorium, isn't it? Yeah. Like performances in there and... Wow. How lovely. Drop of modern art here, look. French do retail fashion so much nicer than I think us English and I speak with some experience in this sector but uh, just lots of these little boutiques rather than relying on the bigger um, clothes shops but they do retail don't you think they do female retail very well here yeah 
Yeah. You oh. can go to a, a high street shop and buy lots of nice clothes, a similar price to what you would in a supermarket. Yeah, and you're supporting like a local business. Yeah. Look at this behind you. Just seen that uh, end. I don't know if you can make this out on the camera, but uh, that is beautiful. Ruined, unfortunately, by the satellite dish. Stuck right in the centre there, but it says Enterprise pour bâtiment, couverture, pomp. So it's kind of like a DIY type thing. And the one on the right there is installations of uh, di uh, bathrooms. And things in like an almost chateau esque building in miniature, isn't it? Isn't that lovely? Ça c'est très joli, monsieur. Oui, oui, ouais, c'est très joli. Malheureusement, il y a un euh, comment est-ce que c'est dit ça en français? Le satellite dish, c'est un problème avec Oui, c'est un cercueil. Cercueil, originellement, c'est un magasin pour euh... oh, ouais. C'est le mytho. Le ah, d'accord. Je ne sais pas comment on dit en anglais. Euh, c'est le mytho. C'est le plomb, le métal, c'est lourd. C'est um, tin and steel. Steel. Voilà. Ouais, c'est ça. Alors, ouais. Après... So that chap was very interesting. He was funny. He was. I let, I let the camera go, but I, didn't, I don't normally like putting the cameras in people's faces. And it just didn't have time for us to ask him, really. We just got stuck into the conversation. But I'll do my bit to try and translate some of that if it's interesting and we'll pop it onto the film. <laughs> but the guy was very knowledgeable, as you'd expect, wouldn't you? He was very interested in history. Yeah, which is why we kind of got on. It's very much a town built on levels, isn't it? Yeah. We're just going up. Gotta have a look in here because the doors are open. Cold. Nothing left in here. This is called Beam and Block. It does, isn't it? Let's get out of here. So we're the other side of the town and it's a lot more modern. This looks like where they've really developed. You see beyond these initial rooftops here you can see in the distance a lot more sort of much more modern accommodation. Look at this, we're intrigued to know where where the cinema is. It's not that building ahead because that is the town hall we think with the very nice art deco clock tower and the nuclear sirens on the top. But, uh, down here somewhere is the Cinema. Do you think it's a 24 screen multiplex, honey? 36 screen multiplex. This is the cinema. It is actually, yeah. Anna likes that lamp. A PBL lamp. It's missing its shade. It's got a beautiful ornate. Oh, look, there it is with a shade over there. Look, there's a matching one. Very 20s, actually, isn't it? It's a very 20s building. Look at this. Art Deco lovers, oh. for Art Deco lovers, look at this for 20s. That'd be wonderful because I love old cinemas. Is it still operating as a cinema now? Oh yeah. So this is the town hall look. And uh, very Art Deco. We came out the cinema, believe it or not. Is that entrance there? But can you imagine the addition that this building would have made to the town? It really was going places. Look at this. Well grand beyond the town size. So we're just walking down High Street now and we're gonna stop at a cafe and, and get a drink, we hope. Just some chips. Fish and chips. 
Martin's buying fish and chips. Peter's got a burger. Cheese, is it cheeseburger? Yes. How very American. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lovely position. Right? Let me just turn you around. Look at this. So we're looking forward to that, just having a beer at the moment. So join us in part two, where we take you to a textile manufacturer, a deserted railway station, complete with an empty waiting room and the old trackside crane. And then finally, we discover the most beautiful manoir for sale by the riverside, which we've got to share with you. I'll see you in part two.